across Barbados, the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment has been delivering multiple services to Barbadians throughout our various social development agencies. In this television series, Bridges, we are pleased to share highlights of our programs and various opportunities you can get involved in. I am Liam Paris Boyne and with me is Tamisha Doughty. This week, we are coming to you from the Parkinson Resource Center, one of 39 community facilities operated by the Community Development Department. Located at the Pine St. Michael, this center has several amenities for community engagement and is supervised by community development aide Colin Harewood. We will learn more about the activities at this resource center later in the program. Early this year, a mentorship initiative was introduced by the Youth Development Program in the Division of Youth Affairs. Project Protege provides mentorship and guidance opportunities to teenagers. Mentoring is a tool that makes a difference between failure and lasting success in the lives of youth. To this end, the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment has conceptualized Project Protege to create a space where youth can find encouragement and guidance. It seeks to help young people reach their fullest potential. The role of the mentor is to be a positive role model, listen well and be accessible, provide open and candid feedback while the mentee will commit to self-development. 50 youth between the ages of 13 to 17 and 50 professionals, inclusive of persons from the UWI Give Back program. All 50 members will go through a one-day course. Training for mentors will be provided before and after they are matched with you. Training topics include understanding the goals and objectives of the program, effective communication in the mentee-mentor relationship. All mentors and mentees are required to spend a minimum of four hours per month and there will be one national activity where all mentors and mentees will be required to attend. I'm sure you will agree that the commitment of the mentors to this program is important. The ministry is extremely appreciative to those who have volunteered to support this initiative and work with our teens. I have a very extensive background in working with the children and young people. And uh, being a mentee myself, I've never been in the position of being a mentor before. But I do look forward to being a part of this program and in any way that I can help any young person. You know, they are, they are the people of our future tomorrow. They're the workers, they're the ones who are going to build this country. And if we don't start working with them from today, what kind of future is Barbados going to have? So indeed, I do applaud the ministry for this effort. And I hope that we all put our hands to the plow and we go forward committee. Um, I think this is a great initiative and I can't wait to see what comes from it. And I think that the young people in Barbados do need this to help them to become better and to have a space to be free and to grow in what they want to become. So I can't wait to see what happens and what becomes of this initiative. Um, thank you very much. Because I was one of those individuals sitting way back when the committee and the minister first conceptualized this project. And it's with a great pleasure and pride that I stand here today, not just being a mentor, but being able to allow Project Prodigy to come to life. Because it's always fine as a young person at the tender age of 21 to hear the visions and aspirations of my youth commissioners, to hear the visions and aspirations of my minister, to hear the visions and aspirations of my principal youth director and director and being able to see the ministry actively put a youth purpose. And this year is the year of the youth being launched yesterday by Commonwealth. So it coincidentally just happened that we are launching this project today, putting youth first. And that is a commitment that I have continuously seen 
going forward from 2018 to now. And it is very impressive to see these transformations that the ministry have brought out. Seeing the young people being able to pass out just recently from the Barbados Youth Advanced Court, and now having this project here. So there's signals of beacon that there's still hope for our young people. And I want each and every one of us as mentors to take this charge seriously, because tomorrow will always be a prosperous and bright future for Barbados if we take the time to pour into the next generation. I thank you. The Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment is calling all young people in Barbados between the ages of 16 and 29 to participate in its National Youth Survey. The survey, which runs from April to October 2023, seeks to gain insight into the interests, aspirations, and needs of Barbadian youth. Young people are encouraged to engage the youth commissioners when they visit and make their voices heard. For more information, call 535 3835 or email Sharon Bishop at Barbados.gov.bb. The Next Steps Training Initiative is another program in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment, which assists young men and women in accessing certified training opportunities through partnerships with training institutions and the private sector. Youth Projects Coordinator Mr. David Denny gives some insights into this program. Well, David Denny, I'm the Youth Project Coordinator here at the Ministry of Youth Sports and Community Empowerment with responsibility for the Next Set Training Institute program. This is a program organized by the Ministry in collaboration with the Samuel Jackman Prescott Institute for Technology, the Barbados Community College Hospitality Institute, as well as other educational institutions our program gives young men and women the opportunity to study in the technical areas hospitality beauty therapy child care management and care of the elderly this program is designed for young men and women between the ages of 16 and 35 and for persons who need a second chance in life well, some of the areas are sound engineering, computer maintenance and repair, electric vehicles maintenance, beauty therapy, introduction to care compulsory, child care and nursery management, care of the elderly, painting and decorating, landscaping and maintenance. Also, we have a program in makeup artistry, advanced nail technology, hospitality classes in basic trade cookery, bar operation, applied information technology, tourism and hospitality awareness, food and beverage service, international cuisine, homemakers, event management, hotel reception and sale procedures, and the homemakers program will form part of our hospitality program. We also have an in-house program in digital media where a number of students will study videography. We cover the, the expenses for tuition. We also create the conditions for the students to receive books as well as we, 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 we organize the uniform for the students so that the students can participate in the program without having to cover most of the costs for the program. Well, at the end of the program, the students are given a certificate. Uh, for all of our programs, the programs are accredited at the institutions such as the Barbados Community College Hospitality Institute, the SJPA, um, and all of the other institutions that we are working with, our programs are accredited. Community Development Department is one of several agencies through which the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment engages Barbadians. This community-based agency operates 39 community centres and community resource centres across Barbados. Located within easy reach of their communities, these centres are a safe space for a variety of activities. Colin Yearwood is the Community Development Aid at the Parkinson Resource Centre. Yeah, my name is Colin Yearwood. I am the Community Aid of the Parkinson 
Resource Center. Um, what we do at, Park, at community development basically is we empower people, we empower communities. My job is to really empower people and empower communities. My job at the community center basically is to manage the facility in terms of making sure that the facility is properly run, that all the functions within the community are properly in place so that the community to, could run, and also facilitating other entities in terms of using the facility. Um, my day-to-day -day work consists of basically going into the community and also accessing persons' information in terms of the programs that they would like to happen within the community center. The other part of the job which I think I like is actually facilitating people. Basically, our duty as a community development office is to really facilitate and empower people. And sometimes persons don't know where to get this X, Y, Z from. And our job is to actually direct them towards basically where we get those things happening from. Um, in terms of this community, I've been working in this community. Well, I raised in the community. I think this is a, a plus for me because there are, there are much persons at the community development department that actually works where they come from. And bringing me back here over the last two years, to be honest, has been a joy. Um, one of the things I admire about this community, every community has its strength. And this strength in this community basically is sports. It always has been sports. Um, I was fortunate to be a part of this community in terms of winning numerous uh, trophies, playing football. But now I come back and I work in a different capacity. It gives me pleasure to actually do more because now I'm in a position now that I can do more for the community. And one of my joys also is to recognize the amount of young people that come from this community. At present, within the community, there's 8,000, about 8,000 persons registered to vote. Now, when you add that along with the children that is so easy, you will know that it's more than 8,000. And when I look at how much young people in, the, in this community, it's really a pleasure to be working around this, in this community for two reasons. This community is what build me. I come up representing Pinellas all of these years and it has always been a pleasure to be not only representing Pinellas but also being a part of a national program where I was a national player and then went on to be a national coach. So working at community development has been a pleasure working at community development because at the end of the day what I'm doing is empowering people and one of the things that I like doing is actually helping people so this job to me fits into because it's hard to be working in an environment where you're not suited. To me, I am suited working at community development because I like dealing with people. We encourage you to go and visit a community development center nearest to you and get involved in one of the activities and programs happening there. The community development department, we have 39 functioning community centers and resource centers throughout the island of Barbados. We are pleased to offer you the facilities in your communities. Certainly, we have made them more inviting. When you traverse, you know, throughout all of the island, you can see we have refurbished them. We have started ensuring that when you come to those centers that we've created a safe space where you can have your activities. We've done that with the installation of security systems. We've even started instituting new seating arrangements. So when persons come and they want to use our internet facilities, you have that space there. As promised in our last program, we are happy to share some highlights of the recently held Youth Entrepreneurship Schemes graduation ceremony for its entrepreneurial development training program. But before we share these highlights, let's hear from Youth Enterprise Officer Ms. Claire Innes about the program. The upcoming edition of YES's Entrepreneurial Development Training Program is scheduled to commence on Monday, June 5, 2023. The YES training program continues to be at the core of the services which are offered to young Barbadian entrepreneurs. The Entrepreneurial Development Training Program offers a combination of personal development workshops 
and business management modules, employing both theoretical and practical components. Experience has taught us here at YES that although this is an entrepreneurial development training program, our entrepreneurs thrive on the foundation of personal development, which includes business etiquette, personal image management, and achieving personal excellence, to name a few. Our business management workshops equip our entrepreneurs in the areas of determining feasibility and market research, funding my business, developing my business model canvas, and operations, to name a few. This comprehensive three-month training program has been carefully designed to anticipate and meet the needs of the young Barbadian entrepreneur between the ages of 18 and 35 years. It targets young entrepreneurs who are at the IDE stage, those who are nascent or new to the market, and for those who would be considered more seasoned entrepreneurs from across a variety of sectors. In essence, this program is open to all entrepreneurs who have a thirst for knowledge and are committed to taking their businesses to the next level through upskilling. Registration is currently open and is offered to YES clients firstly and then extended to other entrepreneurs who may be new to the youth entrepreneurship scheme. Remember though, spaces are limited. Do you have an idea for a business or have started a business? Are you between 18 and 35 years old? Then you need to contact YES, the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme. YES is a dynamic network of services creatively packaged for you, the young entrepreneur. YES offers critical, timely business solutions, specialized technical assistance in accounting, legal, and marketing, a practical entrepreneurial training program, and your own youth enterprise officer for one-on-one -on -one counseling and mentoring. Contact YES today at 535-3835 and get your business moving. The Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme, Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Community Empowerment. The Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme, YES, focuses on building the business acumen of 18 to 35 year olds in Barbados. It is constantly evolving to meet the needs and aspirations of its clients within the context of sustainable business development. 42 young persons graduated at the ceremony held earlier this year. Let's take a look. <music> I want to say that I sat in a session about eight years ago and we were discussing disruptive technologies. That is how do we mitigate against the emerging technologies that would change the status of entrepreneurship and life as we would know it. But little did we know that in 2020 there would be a disruptive pandemic that would have changed completely the world order for everybody, especially entrepreneurs. But today we will not dwell on what came out of the pandemic. However, we will celebrate the successes and the accomplishments of our entrepreneurs. Have up your engine and get ready. Because when we create, we make things happen like a speed of light. And no, we don't need Einstein's theory of E equals MC squared, because for me, E is entrepreneurship and MC is mass creativity and when you square it we add you we add me we add high levels of productivity this program started almost 30 years ago with the understanding that we were supposed to yes ensure that our young people take flight take flight in several different areas as it relates to the division of youth and youth affairs. I really enjoyed the course, especially business courses. Um, learning about how to establish businesses, like partnerships, so partnerships and incorporations. Learning about different marketing and how wide and big and grand marketing is and how important it is for establishing and 
you know, putting your business out there and making people know. But the scariest part of the business subjects was the feasibility study. And I think everybody could agree with me. Um, at the end of every class, you could hear a pin drop. It was very humbling because we had all these grand dreams, but at the end of the day, is it feasible? Do you have to change your plan? Is your, does your plan have, are you prepared for your plan? Do you have what it takes to carry out the plan? Oh my goodness, looking back, some of the highs and lows about this program. Realistically, there were just like a whole bunch of highs and then there were just like individual challenges that came up. So the entire thing from the facilitators to the, even the duration of the course time. Imagine this, we spend an hour after class talking about how effective the purple and yellow Jafet is. So there was no hard time about the class. It was just enjoyment, education, and a great time, honestly speaking. In place for the best business model canvas presentation. That feels great, you know. I was I actually thought I was gonna win, but you know, second place is good nonetheless. Um, and then we our group actually came first, you know, the most outstanding um, business lab um, for our business organic care. So yeah, I was really ecstatic about that too. Uh, organic organic care is a, a business that we, we we specialize in waste management, extracting sheep manure from sheep farmers and packaging it and reselling it basically. My greatest takeaway from the YES program, um, that would be the many, the many different administrative tools, I guess, you know, um, opening up your eyes to the accounting and, and, and your customer segments. That was probably one of the best me, I, understanding my customer target market specifically, you know. So yeah, I, I really appreciate the program and would definitely recommend it to many more people. Well, I would say basically each tool was really important from business management, the module where it helps to put your whole business in perspective, like the management, how you will run the business, the starting, how you will end, how you plan to drop down your plans, execute your plans, um, really focus on feasibility because sometimes we do have dreams, but is it feasible, you know, with the cost rising and everything, is it feasible to do what you want to do? So it shows you how to run a successful business with understanding and knowledge of running a business. If we are going to build the businesses that we want to build, if we are going to have the lives that we desire to have, we must lean into the pain of sacrifice. We must embrace the discomfort of growth and we must look into the abyss which we cannot predict and be prepared to succeed in the future. And ultimately, most importantly, we said yes to yes. That's it for this week. It has been a pleasure and as always, we encourage you to stay connected and keep up to date. You can follow us on Instagram, the Community Development Department at Comdev Barbados, the Division of Youth Affairs at Div Youth 246, the Sports Development Unit at sportsdevelopment.bb, the National Sports Council at NSC Barbados, Community Independent Celebration Secretariat at Community Independence 246, and the Barbados Youth Advance Score at Barbados Youth Advance. You can also stay connected on Facebook by visiting Community Development Department, Division of Youth Affairs, National Sports Council, and the Community Independent Celebration Secretariat. Or feel free to call us at 535-3835. Thank you for joining us and we will see you next week.